Welcome to Raise to, to Wealth, Wealth, where we focus on your, your financial, financial health. health. I'm Benita Harrison. And I'm Delphine Thomas. We're going to give you tips on credit monitoring, credit restoration, and budgeting. We'll also help you build wills, trusts, powers of attorney, and generational wealth. Tune in each Sunday at 2 p.m. on the Boss Up Houston Network. Hello and welcome to another episode of Race to Wealth with the Boss of Houston Network. My name is Vanessa Harrison. And my name is Delcine Thomas. We're so excited that you're joining us here today. Nice. So, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Um, as you know, we like to start our show with a story of the day. So, um, today I want you guys to think about a story, and you may have read it before, and it is The Secret. Ooh. Have you ever heard of that? Okay, so in the story of The Secret, in the book, they talk about how important it is to have a vision for what it is that you want and then let that vision unfold. Mm. You know, think about it all the time, pray about it, it, meditate it, and allow it to unfold in your life. And they call it The Secret. Um, today's show is entitled Vision for Legacy. Mm. And so we want to touch on a little bit about legacy. Yes. What is it? Yes. Uh, how do you create a legacy mm-hmm. and a lot of other topics. Yeah. So it's all about vision mm-hmm. for legacy. Vision for legacy. And I want to really say Facebook land. Everyone <laughs> out there in YouTube land and all social media platforms. And on our podcast as And well. definitely on our podcast. We're so excited. So excited. Man, we're so excited because God is good this yes. morning. Hey, God is good every day. Every day. I just want to throw that in there. <laughs> but yeah, so um, some of the examples that we found about legacy, um, one of the, I'm going to just give you the information. You can leave a legacy by working for the welfare of mankind. That's awesome right there. Mm-hmm. That's big. Mm-hmm. Leaving a legacy for working mm-hmm. for the welfare of mankind. Uh, one of the people one of the persons, oh my goodness, one of the beautiful people that I just comes to my forefront. You know, I want to say Jesus, you know, but y'all, you know, that's a big, big, yeah. big, yes. big, big subject. But we're we gonna, yes. we gonna, we gonna keep him. He's gonna be in it along the way. But I was thinking about Martin Luther King, yes, for an example of one of the people that have left a legacy for mankind. Because you know what I found out through my research? There's all kinds of legacies. There are. And most of the time you think of just one kind, which is um, a person that have done some great, amazing, ex- extraordinary, mm-hmm. extraordinary things for mankind. Right. You right. know, and I think that is so powerful when you can leave something like that because it's never forgotten. And that's the powerful legacies that we have been taught about. And and, and, uh, being taught about that and me doing some research, come to find out there are all types of legacies, Mm -hmm. which is also amazing. There are all types of legacies. One of the things that um, I found through research is that when it comes to leaving a legacy Mm -hmm. and making a huge impact like Martin Luther King has done. Mm -hmm. And then, um, who's the other man? Nelson Mandela. Nelson, yes, Nelson 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 Mandela. Mandela. Come on, come out. Who was so, you know, who was such a big figure during the apartheid, you know, time. Mm -hmm. All of these people had something really big in common. And it's something that you may not expect, but they were not rule followers. You know, they were going against the grain. Yes. Because if, um, you know, to leave a legacy and do something really big, it's important to do something, do something a little bit different. Think outside of the box. If you are following the rules, if Martin Luther King had been following the rules and had been um, doing everything according to what society says was the right thing to do, he would not have made as big of an impact. If people are just going to work, coming home, you know, your impact may not be as huge as if you found something you were passionate about. Exactly. Yes. You went after it. You went after it. Um, mm-hmm. uh, again, um, just as she was talking about, you know, Martin Luther King. And, of course, he wasn't by himself. 
you know, he had people with him that were for the people, men and women that were with him, that were with him every day uh, as he went out to advance, to help mankind, to, to break the barriers mm -hmm. that would harm us and put us in harm, harm's way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're talking about politically, educationally, mm -hmm. economically, you yeah. know, which we're all, we're, we're all fighting every day. And it's not just our race. But we did bring up Martin Luther King, so that was that is a big thing. Yeah. But Mandela, yeah, he was from the islands, so I think mm -hmm. from you know the Virgin Islands. Uh -huh. From not mistaken, or Jamaica was he? Or Africa? Um, Africa. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Africa, Africa. I'm right. sure. Um, and there's so many others. Um, of course, like we say, um, they all so remind you these are barrier breakers. That's what I want to call them. Um, the women that are out there, Sheila Jackson Lee. Um, yes. Oprah Winfrey, yes. um, you know, uh, just to name a few. There's so many people that are in TV. Um, Holly Berry mm -hmm. wanted breaking the barrier. Um, I want to say Mahalia Jackson, but she didn't break a barrier. It's uh -huh. a she's back back in the day. I'm Maya talking about Angelo. Maya Angelou, yeah. right? Yeah. Them bring them up, bring them up, you know, let's just give them their, give them their due, yes. you know, um, Malcolm so X. I mean, they made a mark, mm -hmm. um, you know. Coretta Scott King. Coretta Scott That's King. right there yes. with Michael Jackson. Yeah. Mahalia Jackson, who, uh, her voice changed the yes. world in so many ways. Yes. Maya um, Angela. You know, her, Michelle her Obama. poems. Yes, there you I go. Mean. Definitely my Michelle Obama. That's <laughs> our sister. That's our, that's our sister. For you sure. know, and there's just so many other women mm -hmm. of color as well in the Chinese in, um, culture. You know, mm -hmm. I don't have their names right off, but they were there for their for their culture, mm -hmm. which is to help mankind. Yeah. You and know, in the Hispanic community. And the Hispanic community. You know, like community. Selena and Cesar yeah. Chavez. J-Lo. Yeah, you know, barrier yeah, breakers, sure. even in the min music industry. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, uh, uh, Yolanda Adams in the music oh, industry. Yeah. You know, um, um, just so I have one on more. the tip of my tongue that I just think is bring so it great. Out, and I can't think yes. of the name. Michael Jackson, of course. Prince. Oh, my God. You know, mm -hmm. but, you know, like I said, in Martin Luther King's Jesse Jackson, you yes, know. For sure. Um, of course, um, just, just so many, y'all. We could just... Keep no naming and naming, um, you know. And I would even go back to say, and don't, 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 don't um, hit me hard for this, you know. But I even want to say President Reed. Yeah. Why not? Know, because he was. Why doing, not? Doing. Uh, he he grew up with um with something very unique that people didn't see all the time because he grew to such a height. He was so much taller than everybody else. And he had these problems with his legs. And over time, through the lessons that his mom taught him, he said, all people should be created equal. There are a lot mm. of things that are not right here. Mm. And he wanted to do something about it. So right. Abraham Lincoln is a great person. Right, to, right. To honor. And they still have a monument up of him, you know, yeah. in Washington, D.C. So, so awesome. you know, there's so many greats out there. Oh my God, um, yeah. you know, in the TV world, um, this is way back. A, a lot of people that hear this might not even remember this man's name, uh, Ed hmm. Sullivan. That was before Ed your Sullivan. time. I okay, haven't heard that name, but he was a he was it? one of the um, he had a TV show. So that guy, uh, it was like a talk show host, like he was more so of a, a into, he, into he, he what he did, sort of, kind of, but he more so broke the started breaking the barrier because he started having singers like Michael Jackson when he was really small. Oh, I mean, young, yeah. the Jackson Five. Yeah. So when the Jackson Five, he was on there. Um, uh, Diana Ross was on his show. Oh, you know, that was yeah. back in the day, like we talked about 60s, 70s, I guess. Oh, wow. That's that's somewhat like um, yes, the guy young. from like our childhood, um, so, yeah, Mr. What's his name? Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. Yeah. Where he started talking about things that weren't exactly how they should be. And he started having different people to come on to his show. Exactly. That were of different races right. and different ethnicities. Right. And even in the comedian industry, Whoopi Goldberg. But even oh, before yeah. Whoopi Goldberg, well, I think it was her name, was 
mom's maybe, but she was old back mm -hmm. then, but she used to dress real dumpy, like in a dumpy, dumpy way, old clothes or something okay. like that, you know, and to bring the comedy in, you know, because yeah. we were coming out of these eras, you mm -hmm. know. The kings from, of comedy, all the kings of comedy. Yeah, I mean, all, all like I said, there's so many And the queens you know? of comedy, too. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. One of my favorite is and her mouth is off the chain, y'all. Oh. But I'm talking now about hilarious. Her name is Samoa. I like, Samoa. I want some more. Oh my God. <laughs> Check her out. She is like, oh my God. Okay. Tremendously, <laughs> hilariously okay. funny. Girl, been around the world. Mm -hmm. Millions. Ooh. Millions of dollars, you know. Mm. But we're talking about leaving a legacy. So, um, and leaving a legacy, there's different types of legacies. Yes, yeah. there are. There are legacies that you can leave by, um, you know, even what you do in your everyday life mm -hmm, leaves a mm -hmm, legacy mm -hmm. of, of greatness for the people around yeah, you. Exactly. You, know. uh -huh. you ever think about somebody and go, oh my gosh, they always did this thing. And that will always stick with me forever, you know. And to that person, it may be something they don't even think about anymore. Exactly. You know, they pay no attention to it. But because you're great in that area, yes. they they call you great on that because you left that legacy. Right. Like they'll yeah. say, he was great at that. She was great at that. Always making people laugh. Yeah. So there are family <laughs> late. <laughs> okay. She said, no, she be making me laugh. But then, so there time. are legacies that you can leave a family legacies. I was yeah. like, wow. That's yes. so unique, y'all. That's so unique when you don't think when you about talking, it. And then also like um, the Hilliards and how their yeah, whole family Yeah, my pastor, right, together. the pastor of my church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've left a legacy. Joel Osteen, his yes. father left a legacy. Yes. Miles Monroe. Oh, he, my they, gosh. You know, their whole family. So in the, even in the ministry, uh, in the ministerial um community there are legend leavers mm -hmm. but so are the people within the congregation of the church the ones yeah. that write write a lot of the mm -hmm. uh uh maybe of uh, the obituaries you know mm -hmm. she was great at that he is great at that you know mm -hmm. we may not think about it like that but there are people that leaving are. legacies through the church yeah and true. within the congregation but of course because of and the pastors yeah, go ahead. They were able to, the, the people came to be a part of that church. And through that, and through that um, leadership, you know, they opened the doors for other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Even in the, um, uh, <laughs> even back. when it comes to, um, in the financial industry, Ooh, there are some people one. who have really broken some boundaries. Yeah. Um, some barriers like Nicola Smith Jackson yes. and also like Dave Ramsey. Wow. And who's that lady you were talking about that was uh, oh. Susan Orman. Susie Orman. Yeah, she's, yes, she became whatever. pretty big too. You she's, know, three. I've seen her first. I started seeing her on TV, I think it was, or somebody may have made mention of her. Mm -hmm. And then I seen some of her videos. Mm -hmm. Um she's and of course videos. she's all over YouTube. But um Definitely yeah. in the financial industry, um, mm -hmm. there's so many of um, Grant Cardone is a huge one, yeah, too. definitely. And there's so, uh -huh. many. so then, many, Felicia Guidry. Hey, yes, that's definitely. what I'm talking about. Legacy labor, <laughs> legacy yes. labor that's our business partner, yeah, and friend. Mm -hmm. Definitely, oh my gosh, she is an <laughs> awesome woman of God, first of all, sure. powerful, powerful sure. woman of God. And um, business, family, you know, love family, man, and just love her friends and, mm -hmm. and her relatives, you know. Yep. Oh, my gosh. She's just a lover of life. Beautiful. And she will help in, I mean, there's, like, so many ways that she helps out everybody she knows, which is so awesome. Because she's so genuine when she does it, which is super cool. Amazing. To be a part of yes. it. And then you have... Um, uh, legacy leavers or legacy generational door openers. I wonder I guess I can yes. say that. You have in real estate, you know, there were times, you know, that a lot of families couldn't get a home. Yeah. Now we can get homes 
single women, single mm -hmm. men. You know, you can partner up with someone mm -hmm. to buy a home. And I consider Even that like, um, a legacy. Kimberly Barnes, who does a lot of the um, contesting of like taxes and things wow. like that. There's mm -hmm. a lot. A lot mm -hmm. as far as legacies. So don't ever think that you cannot leave a legacy or that you have to be this, you know, iconic. Yeah. Icon, a person that's an icon. Yeah. Can I say that? Yes. Yeah. You know, so we can start from our family. Yeah. You know, our mother, our father, or either our sisters, our siblings, you yes. know. We can start something within our family. I just think Bobby and Daisy are, oh my gosh, the world legacy leavers, business builders. Wow. Um, you know, they... Um, those are my parents, and mm -hmm. they just instilled so much in, in everybody mm -hmm. and helped a lot of people that they know also. Wow. So I just love that. That's love beautiful. That. That's <laughs> the way life is supposed to go. So we're opening up the doors because we're talking about the fact that you can leave a legacy within your family, just and it can become huge. Just, just want to leave something for our family to remember it by. So, you know, I found out also, Denise, mm -hmm. that you can do a video. To leave a legacy. Hello? Yes. A video legacy. A video legacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can leave information on a video and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, and all your family and friends can look at it later down the road. Or you can, they can watch it now. That's what I yeah. say. I want that, what they say. Give me my roses now. So if you know me and you watching this, my, well, just call me. I'll give you my address. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Make sure you wouldn't send me any cards, any flowers, uh, any, um, if there are any, um, what they call them? Secret millionaires out there watching this video. <laughs> These two women right here, we definitely love a secret millionaire to shower us or bless us so we can be a blessing. See, it's not just talking about us. Because when we talk about Legacy, we're talking about leaving a building. Well, one of my goals, and I know Vanessa definitely has something for, for you guys to hear, but I'm talking about the fact that I would like to open up a computer technology center at, in my home for my community, for the ones that do not know about technology, don't really understand how to use it, and they need the knowledge because that is the future. It's already done. We are addicted to these things already called cell phone. Hello? So we need to know as much as we can to contribute to the community. That's so true. That's so true. Yes. Yes. Family, yes, of course, but we're talking about legacy. So that building was going to be named after my mom. I want her name on it. You know, I want to do a foundation for my mom. Oh, so and awesome. then each inside of the um, inside of the building, I want to name the rooms after me and my, my sisters. Mm -hmm. You know, have a name on one of the built uh, offices for, for me and my husband. You know, leave a legacy. Y'all Y'all can do this. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're giving away buildings nowadays. Mm -hmm. Go to the courthouse and look at the sales on commercial buildings. Oh, that's yes. one way to get started. And that's for me, since I was just sharing with you what I would like to do um, as far as a legacy. One of the things, but it's just, you know what? I'm just so excited about learning about these things because they are so valuable. Yes. And that you can have a conversation with your family, first of all, you know, and mm -hmm. so that inspires them. And then to talk to your nieces and nephews. And I have 30, by the way. Um, yeah. 30. I, I have, oh. Maybe I need to, need to count them. Okay. <laughs> 30 nieces and nephews. That's what I said. 30. Nine. I have nine nieces and That's nephews. beautiful. See how they yeah. need to, nice. and they need to know about the future for a legacy. This lady right here, I'm telling you, she got it going on now. She's a powerful woman, a business, a teacher, <laughs> and just taking the education system oh, by storm oh wow you just give me an intro like that she pumps up my head listen i think the same thing about you because she is she's such a powerful businesswoman such a great friend so Thank authentic you. you know keeps me laughing and keeps me focused and on track how do you have a friend that keeps you rolling laughing but keeps you laser focused on business that's her <laughs> 
and I well, love her for it. We have you to. Know? It takes two. Yeah. Yeah. So um, for, for me, I know definitely I'll have some coming soon posters uh, up um, for our language projects because, you know, when uh, I was younger and I was learning more about how to communicate and how to navigate with people through language, I was learning English and Spanish. I would have these language programs so that people could enroll and they could learn the English or the Spanish that they needed for their job. So right. if they were like an attorney, they could learn what they needed to say to a client mm, and that. what the person at the front desk could say instead of them. And um, so it really just depended on what they wanted to say. And now our most recent project is with realtors. So if you know a realtor who's in the industry and they want to know more about how they can speak to their clients when it comes to contracts or even just code switching to say, okay, we've been talking like we're familiar with each other. We know each other. We're cool. Right. Now we're going to switch over to the language of business and the contracts of this real estate property mm -hmm. and how to talk, you know, contracts and business okay. when it comes to real estate. Mm -hmm. So if you know anyone who's a realtor or broker and they would like this service for their, um, for their, uh, agent, mm -hmm. that's something that is coming soon in the works. We're starting with our language projects again. See, I told you she got it going on. Uh, um, I'm so excited. But yeah, for a vision, for again, uh, leaving a legacy for your a vision for your legacy for the future. Um, uh, a couple of things that I did research and found out about was the fact that I didn't know that you could do these things, but uh, maybe a lot of you have, which is great. I hope you're passing it on. So fund a trust for your children. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, and you wow. know, and some people consider this to be like something that's expensive to do, uh -huh. but we and I, you and I both know we have this as part of our program and you could easily set up a trust fund for your kids, your family, your loved ones right. and have, you know, a trust fund will make sure that your will is protected. Okay. Nobody can come against your will and say, oh, but, uh, you owe us for this and you owe us for that. You wow. know, it's, the trust is an umbrella over that. And wow. It's, a lot easier yeah. and less expensive to set up than people think. Wow. You know, so setting up a trust. Setting up it's a huge. trust. Restore a historical building. How about that one? Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Never thought about that. Yeah, leave it a legacy. You help to restore a historical building. How about sponsoring a park bench? Like, what? You can leave a legacy? Well, that's what it was. That's what it said. And let me tell you, I went to Google, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. But that's what it, I was like, okay. You mean really? when they have their name on the bench? Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Oh. Yeah, and and I guess you can pick the park or either. Guess what else you can do? And you do? can even adopt a highway. Is that leaving a legacy? Yeah. Wow. See? You can adopt a highway. So, so many good things, y'all. Yeah. Park. Create a park. You can create a park. You if you to, clear some you trees, might, get a mulcher in there. I guess, know, first and, of all, you probably have to buy the lot. Or yeah. buy, the, buy the land. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. And it's like a community service, so I think you get like some tax breaks on that. Mm -hmm. Like if you have a clock mm -hmm. up to where people can see what time it is, like when you pass by the bank, sometimes mm -hmm. they have the time there on yeah. the bank. Yeah, it's like a community service, I like that. Okay. and a park is considered a community service. Wow, too. that's awesome! Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. So all of these things are about leaving a legacy, you know, and um, it's needed. Nowadays, it's needed. I mean, oh, and it might not be for everybody, but you know, we want to definitely make sure that we're giving the information mm -hmm. so that if you're interested, at least you heard about it. Yeah. And I think that's being educated, you yeah. know, because a lot of things aren't being shared and you don't know. And so you, and, it and leaves you out of something that you could do. Yeah, and even and even biblically, biblically, right. <laughs> it says that a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. So it's mm -hmm. definitely something to strive towards. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. leave an inheritance for your children's children, not just yours, but past oh, yeah. them. Yeah, and that's good. You know, and you know what I heard? Um, I think we we're in a meeting. I think you might have heard this too. Mm -hmm. We had someone that was speaking at a business meeting. Or well, it might have been in my church, but I hear so much. Oh, oh my God, I'm reading and you know YouTube videos and you know um, just just all not all over the place. I don't really speak that um, business um, meetings, mm -hmm. 
uh, someone said that. <laughs> I wonder oh. if I say this. I'm thinking of something. I don't know if it's what you were thinking or not. But somebody said. Um, About the big picture on the wall. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I, go there. It was Walmart. I think it was Walmart. Somebody was talking about the guy at Walmart. Well, the owner of Walmart who became a millionaire in his 50s. And I love that. It lets people know it's never too late. It's never too you late. do not have to be young. You can start wherever you are, whether it's 55 or 60. I know somebody else that became a millionaire at 70 some years old. Mm -hmm. So it's never too late. But what I was going to say is the fact that also about leaving a legacy, when you can leave your picture in, in your home or your children's home, leave a picture in their home or relatives. Mm -hmm. You walk in and it's just gigantic pictures, just like in the... um. When you go to England, so all the these Rothschilds. museums, yes, uh -huh. you know, they have this gigantic picture. Yeah, keep uh -huh. going. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Go ahead, tell them. The, uh, I'm going to run these, out of people. All of these the Kardashians. Ooh. Yeah, ooh. <laughs> They're going to leave a large picture in their mansion or in their home. And, and people walk see... in and be like, who is that? Oh, that's my great great grandfather. My mm -hmm. great 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 grandfather. Because yeah. the grandfather after the great great great. Put that picture up and the great great put that picture up. So keep putting your pictures up of your yeah. great greats. Yes. And, and you your know, father like the pictures, or your mother. Yeah, I feel like the pictures would change over time. Have you seen where they say this is what grandmothers looked like in the 1800s and mm -hmm. this is what grandmothers looked like in the 2000s? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, one place where I see a lot of big pictures is places where people have studied to show themselves approved. They yeah. have studied to um, have the knowledge to do all these different things. People, you see big pictures in like libraries. Yes. And like business offices. I, that's Every what I was time. Because, mm -hmm. you know, when people spend the time to read and get knowledge about certain things, it leaves a legacy like almost automatically because you're passing that. on so much to the people around you and the people like after you, you know, but in the library, you'll always see a big picture because there's somebody great who started that library, mm -hmm. who collected those oh, books. Like the Bush Library yes. and College Station. Yes. Hello, everybody. Mm -hmm. I think there's mm -hmm. another one in spring, too. It may be. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yeah. It may be. Mm -hmm. So, you know, get a big picture of your peep, of your family, your mother, your father. That's including me. I need a big picture. I gotta go talk to my other sisters. Yeah. And get a big picture and put it in my business office. Mm -hmm. I have pictures of all of my family, but I mean I wanna I wanna blow it up. That's you know what? Idea. I'm glad I I'm, need to I'm do glad that I'm too. talking about that because I do have a family portrait of my mother and her mother and mm. all of her siblings. And I think I can probably find one of my great great ma'am great great grandmother as well. Yeah. And blow those up. Oh, and put their names on them, and so um, you know what? So I can awesome. even. That's a good. That's a good Christmas gift, y'all. I think <laughs> I'm gonna do that. See, <laughs> now see this. This this is for just not for everyone that we're talking about, right. but it's for us too. Yeah. Look at that. I know. I I, I have some pictures of my parents when we were much younger, like we mm -hmm. were babies. Yeah. But it would be great to blow up pictures of the, of them now. Yeah. You know, one of my favorite pictures is not really one of those family portrait pictures, mm -hmm. but it's a picture that um, my mom, she had had a, a huge surgery. It was like a life-changing surgery. And my dad was pushing my mom in a wheelchair and he was like pointing something out to her like, right. see, look, it's right over there. And she was looking. It is the most beautiful thing. Wow. Because they've been together forever and just him like taking the time with her like that moment is just the most beautiful they call thing. it priceless priceless it's priceless yes and that's no. what we are to each other mm -hmm. you know we're priceless y'all we are priceless because you know i went to a funeral recently and um mm -hmm. it wasn't anybody in my family but it was someone else's family and they were talking about him oh my god they was just they were talking about this gentleman mm -hmm. and it was just so it was just so, um, I want to use the word enjoying, enjoyable, and it was just so exciting. You know, they were talking about the best times for him, mm. that the, what he did for them. 
how he made them feel. So that's what we always want to do. And that's how a leg, that's what a legacy does. When I think about my mom and what she did for us, you know, mm -hmm. and you know, what she instilled in us. You know, and me and Vanessa was talking about that earlier too before the show. So yeah, uh, definitely um, home in and focus in on what you might want to do for your family. But we're going to take a break real quick for about a couple of minutes and we're going to come back, give y'all some more exciting information on Vision of Legacy. I would even love that title. Okay, see you in a few minutes. <laughs> Events and Adventures knows how to make the most of being single. Get social, in person, try new things, and just have fun. Join Events and Adventures. We've been doing the single life right for over 30 years. 30 great events every month. Just visit eventsandadventures.com. And this is Boss of Houston, where we look up. Where we look up, stay up. And where we look up, stay up. Stay up and boss up. This is Boss of Houston, where we look up, stay up, and boss up. Wanna be a boss? Let's talk business. Let's talk fashion. Let's talk health, fitness, community, lifestyle, and finance. With Boss Up Houston, Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. It's Boss Up Houston, where we look up, stay up, and boss up. AT&T Fiber delivers a faster internet experience than cable. Ask me how to get 300 megabits per second for only $35 a month, plus taxes and fees, with no annual contract, no bundles required, and unlimited internet data included. Call Boss Up Houston Network at 832-895-5095. Again, that is Boss Up Houston Network at 832-895-5095. Limited availability may not be available in your area. Speed claims based on combined upload and download capacity of Internet 300, Internet 500, and Internet 1000 versus Xfinity Spectrum and COPS 400 meg, 500 meg, 600 meg, 1 gig, and 1.2 gig cable services with uploads of 10, 20, and 35 megabits per second. Download max typically is 940 megabits per second for Internet 1000. Speed very not guaranteed. Welcome back to Visions of Legacy. Vision, visions of Legacy. Family, love, life. All that. <laughs> <laughs> All that. Yes, yeah, so exciting, y'all. So exciting. So we're talking about um, some of the things that we were sharing with you were the fact that you can leave legacy from within your family, you know. Mm -hmm. What your mom taught you, your father taught you, or your parents, I should say, mm -hmm. taught you coming up. You know, in your you know, uh, in your youth, you know. Yeah. What were the, some of the things that they taught you? You know, mm -hmm. um, you know, like me and Vanessa always having conversations again. You know, they taught you to you know clean your room. You know, mm -hmm. these little small things. You think, what does it have to do for legacy? Well, it's it's how you continue on in your life as you become a young mature person. Right. So a lot of things that I didn't know is a part of leave, leaving a legacy. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to always be this great Huge author or thing. this great comedian or, you know, the president of the United States. It's in your home as well. Right. The things that you do on a regular basis. So even if you're in your home, you have to make up the bed every single day before you go out. That is definitely leaving a legacy because that makes a big difference in, in uh, the whole day. So everybody makes up your bed before you go out, you know, because then... When the child grows up and they get to be older, and then it makes it makes their day go by better. You know, if they have chores to do in the house, then they already know when they get their place, they already know how to um, clean up. They already know how to keep their cells tidy. They might be able to find their things more easily because they've already been doing that their whole the whole the whole while. Exactly. You know, yeah. They've already been doing that. It, easy. Yeah. You're planning. Uh discipline and you're planning your that's it you're planning independence you yeah. know because um you're starting to you're teaching them that these things that they, they need to know 
Because as when they get older, you know, and as they mature, this is a way of life. You just don't right. leave your home any kind of way. Uh, because nobody wants to come into a filthy home or a dirty home. Mm. Or it's just, to me, it's not just about that. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that when you're organized at home, you're organized mentally first. You start to organize. And I'm not saying nobody's perfect by no means because I do have other areas where I can, I work on being more organized. Yeah. Or and, I'm, and, and, think, and life is always a process. Yes, it is. So we have to focus in, you know, to um, to our daily way of life. Mm -hmm. So definitely, you know, it, she, like she like she was just mentioning, mm -hmm. uh, and myself as well, it's mm -hmm. a part of the daily life. You know, we life. needed to know these things, mm -hmm. and um, as we grown up, you mm -hmm. know. We help that helps us to keep the organization mentally, physically, financially. Mm -hmm. You know, you put your receipt somewhere financially. You know, mm -hmm. you, so the legacy again to bring it back around. You're leaving a legacy about how your child, or your children, or your as they grow up to be adults. Um, what kind of adult they're going to be? Or want to be right, mm -hmm. right? And you know what? I was just thinking when you said that. We're also talking about the fact that they will eventually have friends. So that makes a difference in their life when their free their friend maybe meet their mom or their other siblings and find out, oh, you guys are so neat. Or you guys write so well. Or you guys are so good in math. Mm -hmm. Or you you guys are so well dressed. Mm -hmm. Or you guys are so well versed. Because it does make a difference in this world. Now, True. depending on the industry you're in, of course, because you have the music industry, that's a language. Talking yeah. about this language, oh. <laughs> this language teacher right here, I'm taking some of her words. It's a language in everything we do. So, but for the most part, it does start from home. Okay. Um, you know. I, I agree. Because whatever, um, I, I just agree. One of the biggest um, legacies that has lasted so long mm -hmm. is the Bible. Mm. God left a legacy. Jesus continued the legacy. It was written down, and that legacy has been passed on Powerful. from generation to, to generation, generation, to generation, generation to generation to generation. generation. And there's so much that you can go back, you know, because they wrote it down, they made it plain, and people all over the world mm. go back to that legacy. Yes, they do. All the time. And the how amazing. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> How amazing. Amazing grace. How you know, amazing. And, um, and you know, that's, you know, there's sometimes we need to work on things in different areas. But just mm -hmm. imagine if we had things um, laid out in a way that would make it easier for the people who come after us, like how it is in the Bible. Oh my gosh, like how, it's it's just amazing that there's a book that's been around for all this time that you can refer back to for everything under the sun. Everything, everything under the sun is in there. And and the reason why is, like she said, is because they're people and they're generations that have been through all, everything that we're going through in life to up today. Mm -hmm. All of these things. And some things, some, sometimes we might think we, we go through something and, oh my gosh, you're the only person who's gone through that before. Mm -hmm. But and it's not, you're no, not the only one who's gone through that no matter alone. what it is. You're not alone because there's nothing new under the sun. Wow. And, you know, if you do go through something, if you're um, just going through something, you're not by yourself, you know. And there is a something that you can reference and see what exactly can you do to make right. it right. a little better. Right. Someone else's experience, someone else yeah. that has gone through that. You can Google other people that have gone through That's true. Uh, domestic violence, other people that have gone through um, uh, uh, unfor unfortunate kind of yeah, hardship, whether it was rape, your house burnt down, you lost everything. I mean, just so many tragedy tragedies that people have gone through mm -hmm. and come out of the mm -hmm. world has gone through gone and we through. have to fight it is a fight you know and like i always say you know no one's perfect um at those things but right. the fact that it gives you some hope 
And yes. does this world need hope? Yes. I say it every day, God help us because of all the things that is going on in this world. But leaving a legacy does definitely have a part in that. Mm -hmm. You know, we can leave a legacy about going through this epidemic that mm -hmm. we've gone through and teach the kids, pandemic. oh my God, but guess what? There were epidemic, epi epidemics mm -hmm. in the Bible. Yes, there were. Yes, there were. were. The drought. Yes, the, no, the, the flood, lotus, the lotus, the lotus, the floods, the yeah, all kinds of things. So, so yeah, so definitely, um, wanted to definitely refresh and. But you know, having a vision for what you want your legacy to be, because you know sometimes uh, it's our mind shift that might need to change. Because um, even recently, mm -hmm. there was a lot of turmoil with people in like the community where I'm from and some of the youngsters ended up even I don't even it's so terrible to even say mm -hmm. some of them even died because um, of violence against each other right. and oh my God. it's it's so heartbreaking you know you really we really want to think about what is the vision the legacy that we want to see coming forth you know, if you see that your kids are going in a certain kind of way, mm -hmm. you know, you definitely want to tell them mm -hmm. so at least they know and yeah. they can hear your voice to say, don't go that way. Mm -hmm. Don't hang out with that person. Mm -hmm. This just happened with them. So don't you take yourself over there. Right. Hanging out with them because they got a lot going on over there. A lot going on and you don't want to get involved. You don't want to get mixed up in that. You know that. what? That's, That's so leaving awesome. a legacy. That's because good. you could change somebody's life like that. Yeah. To say, don't you take yourself over there with them. Right. They got a lot going on. Yeah. And then they end up not going there. They listen and they end up doing something else. And it could, you know, save their life. Yeah. It, it can. Save their it life. definitely can. Mm -hmm. Um definitely can so mm -hmm. yeah guys thank you so much for uh tuning in with us yeah <laughs> yeah i've had i've been i'm having a great time i'm having a great time mm -hmm. and i hope you guys are too uh hit us up on our social media uh or definitely on boss up houston network uh youtube uh race to wealth with delcine thomas and benisa harrison yes Definitely. <laughs> like it, share it, and uh, leave us a comment. Uh -huh. Thanks for tuning in. Thank oh, and you. if you would like to reach out to Boss Up Houston, you can reach them at bossuphouston at gmail.com. And as always, you can always reach out to us. DM us, leave a comment. Um, we'd love to keep in contact. And until next time. Till next time. Thank you. Thank you for um, tuning, tuning in to in. Race to Wealth. Where we focus on your financial, financial health. health. <laughs> Bye.